Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. In today's video, I want to go over this HP PS100 mobile scanner. It was sent to me from the people at HP to review, so I want to check it out. So why would I want to use a mobile scanner when I have a perfectly good desktop flatbed scanner that can do the trick? Well, let me tell you what's happening in my life. The house that I grew up in that was built by my father in the very early 70s is now on the market. I grew up there, my brother, my sisters grew up there for decades. And then my sister ended up moving into that house and lived there for another 20 years and now it's on the market. And I am getting flooded by boxes of stuff that is mine and the family's, you know, VHS tapes, toys, you know, letters, pictures, just tons of stuff, it's, it's overwhelming. And, you know, I opened up this one box and I have this letter from my grandmother from the early 1990s. Uh, this is a playbill that I saw a show in New York City. I also have some photos right here. And this is actually a diary that I wrote when I was in high school as well. Now. The playbill, of course, I want to keep, but the things like the diary and the photos, they could probably get thrown away, but I do want to digitize them. And I got to tell you, I do this for a living, like every single day for the past 20 some years. And the last thing I want to do is sit in my office at night after work and start scanning all of this stuff while, while my wife and child are at home and they're in the living room and the kitchen enjoying the evening. I don't want to get stuck here in the office. So I think this is a perfect tool to use to be able to move everything under the kitchen table while my daughter is doing her homework. And I can start scanning these things on my own free time whenever I want to. So let's go ahead and get started with the operation of the scanner and see how it does. Okay, here I am at my laptop and let's get things set up. Uh, it just comes with a USB cord, plugs in right in the back, and it plugs in the side of the computer, just like that. As long as you have a USB on your computer, you're gonna be good to go. It does come with a user's guide. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is go to the hpworksolutions.com setup to get the software downloaded. So let's go ahead and do that. HP, there it is right there. Here's a simple setup. So I guess the first thing we're gonna wanna do is choose scanners and it's a mobile scanner. Here's this one right here. Here, so the software. I'm gonna pick for Windows and let's put it into download. I should get a prompt saying that it's done. There it is. I'm gonna double click that. Yes. I accept. Yes. Program files, install. I guess we're just gonna follow the prompts. It's finishing the installation. Okay, it's finished. Great. Let's get out of that. Okay, it put an icon on my desktop. That's right there. Connect your scanner. Okay, so I already have it connected. So here is a power button right here. Okay, little green light came on. That's perfect. So let's look at the scan settings. So we have page sides, one side. Or you can do a uh, two-sided book, one-sided back, two-sided tablet. There's a few different options we can have. Color mode. We have gray, half tone, black and white, auto detect color. Let's try that. Resolution. This is important. So we have 75 PPI all the way to 600 PPI. Uh, I'm going to pick the 600, the highest it can go, and the input page size. 
So we have all these different things that we can choose from. So let's uh let's go with I don't know, let's go with the 8.5 by 11. Okay. So it looks like it's set up and ready to go. So let's try the letter that my grandmother gave me. So here's the first page. So what you want to do is you want to put it in your scanner and it fed it through just a little bit. And here's a slider. We're going to slide it all the way to just about where it touches, just like that. So you're going to want to move that slider back and forth depending on where you want it. So let's see, let's see what see all is really quick. Uh, scan settings, we have gem general, uh, one side front, auto detect the color, portrait, the item is document, the resolution is 600, input page 8.5 by 11, image quality, auto exposure. So you can set your exposures if you want. I'm just going to leave them all at zero and document. Erase edges, disabled, and clean up background. Why don't we clean up the background? Let's see what happens with that. Sensitivity, let's leave it at 50. That's the default. Okay. We also have device settings. No scanner added. So let's add the scanner. Here it is. Uh, make sure your scanner is connected to your computer via USB. Make sure the scanner is plugged into a power source. The power source is the computer for this particular model. Make sure the scanner is on and it is on. It's searching. Okay, it says that we're ready to scan. Make sure my scan settings are all correct. And I have the document in. So let's hit scan. There it goes. Boy, that's pretty fast. Okay, so it looks like when I did the clean up the background, it didn't work very well. So let's go back to image quality, document, Let's disable this setting. And let's click that. Delete. Let's try this again. Okay, so I'm going to have scan. like that's done. Put that over here. Okay, there's our picture. There's our first letter. Let's do another one. Let's put the second page in. And hit scan. Okay. That worked well. Scanning. Okay, here's a save as. It's a save as. Here's documents. I already chose a folder HP uh, 100 scans. And I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to open up the image once it saves and see how it looks. Let's find it. Oh, it saved as a PDF. I bet we could probably have chosen different things. Oh, that looks really nice. So two pages. That's great. Looks good. I'm happy with that. I think if I hit delete, it probably shouldn't delete out of the folder. Let's check. No, it's still right there. Great. 
Let's go ahead and move on to a photo. Cool, this is a photo of my first musical I was in. Uh, Oliver, I was the Artful Dodger, I'm right there. So let's go ahead and scan this. Move that out of the way. Let's get it loaded. Let's slide the slider right down like that. And let's check our color mode. It says auto detect. I'm happy with everything like that. Input size, uh, eight and a half by 11. Looks good, let's uh, hit scan. It's fast. That's cool. It's done, let's wait for it to process. There it is. Okay, look, on the top you have your X to delete the page, or you can rotate it. So let's see what happens when we rotate. It's upside down. Okay, that looks really good. That looks really good so far. Let's do the save as. And so you can do a save as type. So let's just pick a JPEG now. Save. I'm anxious to see how the 600 PPI is. I'm usually like, uh, instead of PPI, DPI, which is dots per inch, this is PPI. So maybe that's pixels per inch, I don't know. So that's done. Let's go back to the folder that I have everything saved in. There's the picture. That looks good. Doesn't look like it cut anyone off. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in to me, I'm right here. So you can zoom in pretty good. The, so there I am there. Let's try this playbill. So this playbill is really thick. I have no idea if the scanner is going to take something this thick. So let's uh, go ahead and clip, delete this out. Let's see, I, I don't think so. Maybe if we turn, open it up. I don't know if it's gonna jam it or what's gonna happen, but. I'm gonna be really interested to see if it'll pull through something this thick. It's jamming. Let's see what happens when it says jam. The feeder is jammed. We know the scanner is not going to scan really thick documents. I think it would have done it if I would take the staples out and just do the top, the top page. That would probably make a lot of sense because then I could scan all of the pages. So it's not a bad thing. We know that it won't do a really thick document, but just take the staples out. Let's do one more scan of one of my diary sheets. All right. Let's feed this through, slide that over, and everything is set up the same, and let's hit scan. Okay, there it is. That looks really nice. Let's do a save as. Uh, resorts to PDF, so let's do JPEG again. That's clear. That's really super clear and nice. I don't have the best handwriting. <laughs> okay, so we have also an auto scan right here. The auto scan allows you to load your document into the feeder and it will automatically scan. After you completed all your scans, click stop scan. 
So let's try that. Let's take this playbill. I sort of hate to take the staples out. Start scan. There it goes. Page one. Just let's just try a few. They're gonna fall on the floor. Of a mess. Let's do one more. This is pretty cool. This makes it go fast. So if you're organized with all your documents, you can just keep pumping them through. That's really nice. Okay. Stop. All right. So it has them all listed right here. That's great. You know, you can flip it. There we go. Avenue Q. So a friend of mine starred in Avenue Q. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's do a save as. Let's keep it as PDF. I bet it's going to take a little while because there's so many sheets. Okay, let's go back to our folder. I bet it's this one. There it is. There's that one. I didn't, I didn't flip the images. Only the first one. So I could go back and rescan later, but for all intents and purposes, this looks really good. I'm really happy with the software program. It's really great. Very happy. Now, I gotta tell you, I really do like this HP PS100 mobile scanner. It did the job really well. It was really easy to set up and use. And now I don't have to be trapped in my office doing these all these family scans. I can sit in the living room at a coffee table or at the kitchen table and do these scans while I'm enjoying the company of my family. And that is a total bonus. So if you do want to purchase this particular scanner, I do have a link in the video description to Amazon that you can follow to buy it. Now remember, by following the link and making a purchase, you will be helping my channel and I greatly appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. And you have yourself a wonderful time scanning.